welcome to my channel fun learn with anita today i'm going to teach you how to perform the most used functions in excel the index function match function and the combination of both make sure to hit the subscribe button and stay tuned now let's talk about match function it is very similar to vlookup but the only difference between both of them is that vlookup returns a cell value whereas match provides you with a column or a row number now here as you can see i have a sample menu and from this menu i would like to know where is caramel latte located in this coffee table what column number or what row number now for this let's work with match function now to begin with match function we write equals to match open parenthesis and first argument is the lookup value basically what value are you trying to look up for in this case we are trying to look for caramel latte second argument the lookup array in this entire menu where does caramel latte lies what column or row does it lie specific row or column does it lie so we know it's in column a select and we'll absolute reference it then the match type whether you want the exact match or whether you want less or greater than in this case we want exact match zero close parenthesis enter so here the result six it reflects the row number of our lookup array at selected column and not the row number of the worksheet so as you can see this was our lookup array and if you count one two three four five six caramel latte was in sixth row of our lookup array now similarly let's find where lychee is located in this menu so equals to match first argument is what you trying to find what value so lychee comma the lookup array so in this entire menu what column does lychee lies at it's in column f select it absolute reference and then the match type whether you want less exact or greater we want exact match close parenthesis enter so this three number here represents the third row of our lookup array so if you count 1 2 3 is the third row of our lookup array now similarly we can use match function to find the column number now giving an example here we want to find where medium lies right which column number medium lies at in which row so equals to match lookup value would be medium lookup array would be this specific row this this would be a lookup array so we're going to absolute reference it a match type would be zero because it's exact match enter this two represents the exact column number in this row so it is the second column where medium lies at in this particular row in this particular lookup array so match function on its own isn't too useful for us for returning the value of a price or any specific value we would need to use it with index function but before that let's understand what index function is now when we talk about index function it is basically a map a road map for the spreadsheet it provides you with cells value based on intersection of row and column number of a given range now let me show you how index function works Now taking an example let's find the price of blended latte using index function equals to index open parenthesis and array basically it is asking the range of the data so this is where the price is located let's absolute reference it f4 then the row number basically where latte is located over here so if we count 1 2 3 4 5 fifth row is a latte the column number blended is in which column it's a third column of our array so now if you see it represents the 85 the price of blended latte so it is giving you it is returning with a sales value it is giving you a sales value similarly let's find the price of small mango smoothie now again to find where mango lies in this data i need to count 1 2 3 4 5 right what i can do is using the match function get the row number Now here you know the match function is for Lychee, right? I can create a drop-down menu. So whenever I change the 
flavor of smoothie it automatically updates over here so let me show you how it's done you go to data data validation put select list the source would be this particular source okay now let's put mango over here and automatically the match function works and mango is on the fourth row so now let's start working with our index function equals to index array is basically asking you the range of the data basically where the price is located at so it's this we will absolute reference it the row number we already know it's fourth and column number of small is one close parenthesis so 120 is your price for small mango smoothie now unlike VLOOKUP, you do not necessarily have to select the whole table as array. You can just select a single column and on that basis index function can provide you the cell value. Now let me show you in this classic soda, I want to know the price of passion fruit medium. So let's write passion fruit medium soda equals to index. Array can be just single column. Open parenthesis, single column. Let's absolute reference it. The row number for passion fruit is 1, 2, 3, 4. 4. Now, we already know that it's just a single column, so it's basically just writing 1 over there. We can even write 1, comma 1, close it. It will give you 110, but let's say you do not write 1, right? Because it is already single column, and you can also see that column number is in bracket. So you do not need to write it, it's basically an optional for you. So for in this case, I do not want to write my column number. So I can just press enter and 110 represents the price of medium soda passion fruit. Now I will show you how the combination of both match and index function if performed together can give an alternative to VLOOKUP function. Now let's say here I want to know the price of hot mocha equals to index open parenthesis our array would be column b prices of hot beverages so we would absolute reference it now here's a catch instead of putting the row number argument we can use match function because it will also provide the row number for index function match open parenthesis our lookup value is mocha and our lookup array is column a the name of the beverages will absolute reference it a match type would be zero exact match close parenthesis for match function close parenthesis for index function enter now this 75 represents the price of hot mocha so you saw how when two functions match and index combine together they make such a powerful formula that could use as an alternate for vlookup function now the same way i want to know the price of tology smoothie so equals to index open parenthesis our array would be tall column i will absolute reference it comma now match function open parenthesis our lookup value is nichi comma our lookup array is column f absolute reference match type is 0 close parenthesis for match function close, close parenthesis for index function enter so 150 is the price of tolly g smoothie now let's see how index match function is better than we look up now here let's say i have to find the price of lemon soda in tall so if i have to use the index match function it will be equals to index open parenthesis our array would be column d Absolute reference. We use match function instead of row number argument. Our lookup value will be lemon. Our lookup value would be this. Absolute reference. And match time would be zero. Exact match. Close parenthesis. Enter. Same for B lookup. It would be equals to B lookup. Open parenthesis. Lookup value is lemon. Table array would be this table. Absolute reference it. Column index number would be 1, 2, 3, 4. Tall is the fourth column. Comma, box for exact match. Close parenthesis, enter. Now both are giving the same value. Now let's say I have inserted 
a column before this. So right click and sum. Now we can see that the index match function is still working. It is still giving us the price of tall lemonade soda. But for the VLOOKUP function, it is giving us price as zero. The reason it's happening is if you see the VLOOKUP formula, it refers to one table array and also it gives us the column index number. So when tall was on the fourth column, it was picking up the value. But the moment I inserted a new column, it is it is still referring as a column index number fourth. And since there is no value over here, it is giving us zero. But on the other hand, when we see for the index match function, it still gives us the value 100. The reason it's happening is because there are two functions over here, index and match. Now match over here is acting as a lookup value. It is basically providing the row number for lemon in this lookup array. And then it is matching it with our index function that is for tall. So for tall lemonade, it is 100 bucks. So it doesn't matter whether you insert or delete any column from between, it will automatically update the lookup array for the index function. Hence, when we are working with the index match function, we do not have to worry about maintaining the formula or updating the formula. We can insert new columns, delete the unnecessary ones, we would still get the result from our source data. But this doesn't happen in the case of VLOOKUP function, since we are specifically mentioning about the column index number there. So one of the reasons why normally users substitute VLOOKUP for in index match function is because index match function, it provides us with the flexibility to look at the left of the source data. Now taking an example, let's say we have to find the employee ID for the designation of senior manager and CFO. So similar way we would use the index and match function and match function over here, it reflects the designation in column C. It will provide the row numbers. For senior manager, it will provide the second row number and for CFO, it will provide the fifth row number. This it will bring to index function, the index array. And from here, it would get me the employee ID. Now senior manager's employee ID is 90BN and CFO employee ID is 70AVB. Now what it's trying to tell is that using the index match function, it gives you a flexibility to look towards the left of the source data, which is normally not accessible through VLOOKUP function. Hence the index match function is a very good alternative for a VLOOKUP function. I hope you guys like this video. Please make sure to hit the subscribe button, like the video and mention what else you would like to learn in the comment box. Also, in case you have missed how a VLOOKUP function works and make sure to put the link in the description below. Stay tuned for more.